guys, this is Mary Cooper again from Marfrey Woolcroft and today I'm going to spin the fibre that you watched me drum card a few weeks ago with the silk sari waist. So I usually start with about 50 grams of fibre um, to spin onto a bobbin and then I apply them two together to make a 100 gram um, amount of yarn, hank of yarn, ski, hank, ski, whatever you like to call it. So first of all, we, we spin with the wheel going clockwise, which gives the, the yarn a Z twist. And I'm just drawing it forward slowly on towards the bobbin. This is quite uh, difficult to spin because it's all different lengths of fiber. So I have to be careful how much I'm allowing to go forward at a time so it doesn't break. And as you can see, it's quite you might call it art yarn. There's lots of bumps and lumps in it, but I don't mind that. It adds to the characteristic of the far of the of the fibre yarn at the end of the day. So that's a nice little lump there. So, so the finer the, the the yarn, the more twist you get into it. So the lumps, you see that the twist jumps over them. And the finer bits, you get more twist. And as we fill the bobbin, we have to change the tension on this, on the wheel. So by doing that with the Irish wheel, we stop the spin and we just twist slightly here. And this pulls the whole um, mother of all out away from the main wheel and tightens this. And therefore you get more draw of the fiber onto, onto the bobbin. So we keep spinning that till we get the full fifty grams onto the bobbin, and then we change the bobbins and spin the wheel go in the opposite direction, and the twist then goes onto the yarn in the opposite direction, and it takes some of the twist out of this. As you see at the moment, we've got a little bit over spin. So when I relax this, you see it twisting back onto itself. So when you spin with the wheel going the opposite direction, that will take some of that twist out of the, the yarn and give you what's called a balanced yarn, which we then put up onto the niddy noddy, which is here. And you see, when I take this off the niddy noddy, it's going to just um, hang absolutely straight. Now, if you have too much twist in that, it would twist up on itself and, um, and have what we call a bit of life in it. So that's balance now, no twist on itself. The fibres twist is fairly close together, so you're not going to split the um, yarn with your needle when you're knitting. This then has to um, be wet, made wet, really, really wet. I soak it in water for about half an hour and then hang it up to dry to give it what we, to what we call set the twist in the yarn, so to finish it off. Right, so that's your yarn finished from that two lots of 50 grams spun the wheel going clockwise, applied together with the wheel going anti-clockwise. That gives you a traditional yarn. Now having spun the yarn, I'm going to, to um, weave a very simple scarf with it. Um, the warp is pure silk, it's hand dyed silk that I got years ago and it's been sitting in my sh workshop waiting for the right coloured yarn to come along and I thought this was absolutely perfect for um, this colourway wool. So this is a rigid heddle loom, very simple to use and um, you, you can do quite a lot with it, but this is just basic backwards and forwards weaving. So we put the reed up like that and down, because that's the way it should be. Just to get it going, it's not up now. So we just pass yarn through like that. Cross, just leave a little bit loose there, a little bit of an angle like that, and then I'm back.
back again. I sit on a chair while I'm doing this because I find if I balance it on a table as it's designed to be, it gives me a backache. So backwards and forwards. And so with this yarn, you can still see the warp threads running through the scarf. giving flashes of colour. Hello ladies. Hello Nora Dove. <laughs> and as the, the um Warp fills up, we have to move it along so we have more available. So let's put it, that balance there, intermediate in between, undo the end there and crank. You work your way up the walk like that. Okay. Just keep on doing this until the scarf is finished, and then at the very, at the very end, it's all done. You've got taken it off the loom. You have to um, wash it really thoroughly and get it to felt slightly to hold the threads together so they don't slip up and down the wall. So a slight felting effect while we're washing it at the end of the day. Okay, Nora, finished. 